Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today we're going to be talking about synchronizing Google Sheets to Notion using a tool called Unito. So for this tutorial, we're going to need three accounts. We're going to need our Google Sheets account, your Notion account, and of course, your automation tool called Unito. So if you haven't used Unito before, it's a specific automation tool dedicated to synchronization of databases between different software. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on a Notion database and a Google Sheet. So this should be a really helpful tutorial if one tool uh, is used by one team and another tool is used by another team. Synchronization through Unito is a great way to keep everyone on the same page. So let's get into it. So the first and one of the more difficult things to do, especially if you've been using the software for a while, is to make sure all the fields are identical. So in this really easy example, we just have company name, email, last name, first name, and project start date. And that's where we'll start for today. So between these five fields, we make sure that both tools have them in Google Sheets and in Notion. So the first thing we need to do in Google Sheets is actually add the Unito uh, add-on to our Google Sheet. You can do it for your domain if you're planning on doing synchronization projects across your company, or you can just do it for your specific user. So once you add the Unito add-on, uh, you can click into the add-on through the add-ons uh, menu on the top bar, and then you're gonna be inserting two columns into the sheet. So this is all the add-on does, is just add a Unito ID and a last modified time. Now these are essential for Unito to just identify if any information has changed. And no surprise, you need to also add a last modified time column into Notion. So Unito is gonna be looking at both of those columns of the last modified time to make sure that this is the time when something actually changed and now I need to push an update from Google Sheets to Notion or vice versa. Now that we have our Google Sheet and our Notion set up, uh, now we actually can dig into Unito and start to create this flow. So you're picking the two tools here, Google Sheets and Notion, uh, and you need to specify which account you wanna use and then uh, the actual database that you want to use. Uh, and once you select both of those on, in either software, then you dig into how do you want this flow to work? Do you want to go from Notion to Google Sheets only? Do you want to go from Google Sheets to Notion only? Or do you want that synchronization to happen in both directions? So for this example, we are going to allow it to happen in both directions. Now we need to choose what rows and pages we actually want to sync. Uh, between Notion and Sheets. So these are the rules that allow the automation to take place. So keep close attention here for, it says the creation date, which means from this point forward, any newly created data will be sent and synchronized between the two tools. But if I made something on October 1st or in January, it's just not going to actually be transferred over. And we'll come back to that point uh, later on in this video, because the, the historical synchronization is also addressed by Unito. So now we're actually mapping the fields. So you're gonna go, no surprise, company, company, email, email, uh, you know, first name, first name, last name, last name. Maybe one day Unito will make this process a little bit more simple so that it identifies the same name in the same columns, but for now, we need to configure that. Now we're actually gonna launch the flow that we just made. So it asks you to name, the flow and we're just going to call it G Sheet in Notion tutorial and then we're going to launch this flow. Now be patient when you do launch your flow initially. The first thing that Unito is going to do is index everything that's there. So if you have a big Google Sheet or a big Notion database, it's going to take time to index all the information. But be aware also of the synchronize older items button that's going to be at the bottom of that page that you get dumped to right the your sort of details page of this automation so when you click that button now it's going to go to all the historical information and update everything and synchronize everything in both places so this does take some time and you can see here that it did finish and it added a couple items to the g sheet and it'll add a couple items to the Notion database. And we made them slightly different intentionally to, to update in both places. But what if you add a new item to G Sheet right now, right? You wanna add a new item to, to G Sheets. How long does it take to get to Notion? Well, 
The answer to that question is about 10 minutes. On the, in, on the base plan of Unido, syncing takes place once every 10 minutes or so. Now, if you need information to be relayed faster than that, there are higher tiers of Unido that allow for faster synchronization and allow your teams to, you know, be working with identical information just a little bit faster. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. There's a ton of different ways to use Unido and synchronize information across your organization. If there's anything you'd like us to cover here on the show, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Again, resources and links are in the description down below and don't forget, keep the flow.